morning guys um sorry for today i'm actually wearing little to no makeup i only have a bit of foundation and lipstick but um i, I just don't feel like putting the whole makeup thing on me i just don't feel like it it's a gloomy rainy day here in ireland and uh, it's been raining, snowing, um, all of it at the same time and it kind of made me think about what I really want in my life at the moment and um, it kind of made me sad because I'm still not at a place where I would love to be. There's still a lot of things in my life that I'm kind it, of it's the baggage I'm carrying from the past and it's you, you know when you're building your life in a way in a way that I didn't really want my life to be but it was a way that life kind of brought me to like throughout my life I was uh, Throughout my life I was forced to be very strong and I, I kind of went that way and I was building my life that way but it was actually on the opposite side of what I wanted. I didn't want to be strong. I never wanted to be strong. I remember me like when I was a young girl, I just wanted to be happy. I was cheerful, playful, um, artistic and I was very sensitive as well, very fragile, very kind of cuddly, emotional little girl. I was pretty much your perfect little girl. And then, because of all of the, because of all the shit that happened, I kind of became this person that I, I never really wanted to be. I never wanted to be this girl that I am at the moment. And sometimes it's very hard when you already built your life in a certain way to make it different it's very hard to revise it and to just kind of build a different life it requires a lot of planning and thinking and completely like planning ahead from the scratch and i think that's it's kind of really difficult but i see how much i'm suffering by doing what i, what I really don't want to like every day is actually struggling and postponing what I really want and if you, if you do this exercise if you imagine that tomorrow you're gonna die and you start questioning what you want to do for the last couple of hours of your life and I met a lot of people that kind of said oh I want to do this I want to do that but for me I'm always like I just want to be cuddled and hugged by someone I really love and I love things I love I don't mind success I don't mind money I like all of it I like to have fun and I love the luxury but basically my my first and utmost need that I have is basically just to relax to take it easy and to be there with someone who I love and it sounds funny, it might be funny for all of you because you probably, that's the only thing maybe some people have. But for me, that was the only thing that was always missing. Because even with my parents, I never felt like, I never felt secure. I never felt like I had someone to take care of me. And I'm still missing that thing. I still don't feel, even when I'm surrounded by people who could take care of me, I don't trust anyone. I, you know... Obviously, when I was a little girl, my perfect kind of person that could take care of me was perfect because it had to be so different than my parents that it became something that you unachievable. <laughs> and I'm still looking, looking for that person that's gonna take care of me as if I was still that child that I'm no longer. It sometimes is very sad. I find that my deepest desires are 
only simple, simple desires to be taken care of, to be relaxed and to feel safe. And it's the very most thing I am not able to achieve. I build some kind of security for myself, with myself, and I feel like whatever happens, I will be capable of taking care of myself. But you see, I don't want things to happen. I don't want this whatever happens to happen. I am fucking sick of that. I want good things to happen and then so I don't really have to take care of myself anymore. Because it's been a while that I was alone and I was constantly taking care of myself and other people. And it's just it's still the thing I'm doing. It's like, you see, I'm very good at it, but I don't want it. In order to kind of achieve things that you want to achieve, is to move your every thought, energy and action into that direction. I am serious. If you want to be, I don't know, an actor, make the every single second of your entire day as if you were already an actor. And this is the thing I am trying to do. You might fail certain times. I, I failed today. I feel like I don't want to... I didn't achieve to do anything in any second. Well, maybe, maybe I did one thing that kind of goes <laughs> where I want my energy to flow. But um, at least, at, at least I am aware of it. So every single moment of your life, all of your energy needs to flow into the direction where you want your life to be. Sometimes you're gonna have to really struggle because obviously you are in the position where you are at the moment because you were you were pointing your direction there and it's sort of a habit now like you probably feel like you're used to doing these things every day but in order to really change if you really want to change it's gonna have to happen internally by making your every decision based on where you want to end up in your life and there are tricky things for example if you want someone to take care of you it's it's not only by how, how you behave but still if you send out the energy of I need someone to take care of me I'm a fragile female and I need someone to take care of me or you're gonna send an energy I got it babe <laughs> Because if you send this other energy, nobody's gonna show up. Nobody's gonna be there to take care of you. And wh whatever your dream is, whatever your ultimate desire is, you kinda need to live it first. Because energy flows where your attention goes. <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy, but it's the way it is. Yeah, this was kind of random video that I wanted to do, but I'm always kind of afraid that I'm gonna lose the train of thoughts because uh, because I do, <laughs> because I usually lose them. And uh, I wanted to share this with you and I hope it helps you. I'm gonna try now to have a nice, relaxed, fragile, feminine <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> and maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll manage. <laughs> See you.